Hey, hi. The purpose of this video is to discuss my experience with various charging stations in various parts of the, of the country. I've had my plug-in hybrid electric ve vehicle for four years, and the vast majority of charging stations that I've visited, I've had positive experiences with them, with one exception. That one exception is the Mermaid Winery, as you see on the screen, 4401 Shore Drive in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Now, I went, I stopped at the Mermaid Winery a couple of times. Uh, the first time I was there, my car charged without a problem. I stopped there, had a bite to eat, and uh, had a little drink as well. And the, 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 the retailer happened to be open at that time. Now, the very next day, I decided to go there knowing that they did not open until 11 o'clock in the morning. I stopped there about 10.30. And I plugged in my car. My car started charging as usual. And as I was walking off of the lot, because, of, because the winery was closed, I decided to walk around the area and see what other retailers had to offer uh, nearby. And as I started walking away from the parking lot, I didn't see what room she rode in on, but an old lady stopped by and started asking me questions like she had dominion over me. She says, you can't leave. She automatically just said, you cannot leave your car charged all day sitting there. And she has absolutely no authority over me. because My impression is because they have a charger there, that they assume they have dominion over the people who are charging their cars. And that's just absolutely not the case. Because they install those chargers. They want business businesses. They want people to visit their businesses. And they're trying to generate more business, not chase people away like this. the, the, uh, the woman who thought she had dominion over me or authority over me. So I've decided that I will not go to the Mermaid Winery anymore. And I've told the people, the, the people that I know on base, the guys that I, that I work with on base, uh, they're not far far from Little Creek uh, and Fit Base, by the way. Uh, I told the guys on base that I know, and a lot of us are, are electric have electric vehicles as well. And speaking of that, I have to say, as a result of this experience, I am glad that my car is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. I am not dependent only on electricity. And I'll have to take shit from that woman in order to get my car, in order to be able to drive my car. My car can use gasoline as well. I can use gas to generate electricity for my vehicle, which I chose to do because I didn't, I, because I didn't want to deal with that particular business anymore. So I will not go there anymore. And as you can see, there are other charging stations in that area. Now, since I've decided to make this video, I've started looking at some of these stations, and I didn't know that there were so many in the area. I will definitely choose some of these before I go to the winery, where, where I mean, like I said, I, don't see, I didn't see what broom she rode in on because she walked up behind me like she had dominion over me because she knew my car was being plugged in. So anyway, I went back and the long and short of it is I went back before 11 o'clock to check the charging state on my car and my readout was telling me that the charging was interrupted and it could not charge. Now, realistically, I could not, I could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this woman did not mess with my car or did mess with my car. I couldn't prove that because it's one of two possibilities. Either the charger malfunction, or which it, which is highly unlikely, or the my car mal malfunction, which is very unlikely. Now, like I said, I had my car charged into the very same station just less than 24 hours earlier, and everything was fine. But I, like, I, and when I left the I left the area, and uh, after my car started charging normally, I left the area. And I walked away from my car, and I suspect that this that this woman uh, tampered with the charge on my on my vehicle, assuming that well, first of all, when I was talking to her, uh, I let her I let her know in the tone of my voice uh, that, and I make no apologies for that that she is not in control of me. Uh, she says, "Well, you can't leave your car charged here all day." I said, "I'm not." I'll be back when the when the winery when when the retail when your store opens opens up I'll be back 
and I'll check the state on my chain. I'll check the state of charge on my car at that time. And I, besides, there's no signage here that says anything about time limits as far as when you can plug your car in. Well, you cannot plug your in. Plug the car in. She says, "Well, we're working on that." And I said, oh, "Okay," and that was the end of the conversation. So anyway, I will repeat myself. And let's see, I'm trying to get the graphic to show. Come on, it won't cooperate. And it's Mermaid Winery on 4401 Shore Drive, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Not very far from the amphibious base, which is where I was. And I've told other guys that also have EVs uh, that also work on the base, that frequent the base. Uh, I told them, hey, you know, this, this lady, and I told them what happened. And uh, these guys are very, very tight with me, and um, they'll make note of that. But once again, I will go ahead. Okay, so much for Mermaid Winery. Uh, there's a press wine bar. Again, it looks like these types of places are here because they're trying to generate or attract more customers to the area. And all that all that lady did was succeed in chasing me away from the area. area. I will not go there anymore. This first landing state park. Uh, let's see. There's Mystics, 1439 North Great Neck Road, Virginia Beach. There's Floyd's Home Charger. There's Home Chargers also here on on uh, Plug Share. And let's see. There's a Hendrick dealership somewhere. Captain George's Seafood. Now, speaking of that, Captain George's Seafood. I would love to visit there. I'm definitely going to go there um, sometime soon. Because I would love to be able to go there and eat food and eat and shoot the breeze and me and, me and my guys hang out. Meanwhile, while I'm filling up my stomach, my car is being filled up with electricity. And that's a piece of cake. And I love that. And there's a hint. Okay, Hall, Hall Nissan, in Virginia Beach. Or Bonnie Road, Virginia Beach. And let's see. There's Beach Ford. Okay, I know where they are. Virginia Beach Boulevard. Pembroke Mall. There's one Pembroke Mall. That's cool. Okay, I can stop by the mall, do some shopping. While I'm shopping, my car is charging. And if I'm in the food court eating some food, then my car is charging as well. Checkered Flag BMW. That's another another place that, that can be gone. Rick Hendrick Chevrolet of Norfolk. That's great. Because I happen to have a GM vehicle. Or a Cadillac. And my car was originally a Hendrick vehicle. And uh, let's see, there's Bojangles as well. But anyway, back to Mermaid Winery. I would strongly recommend that people not go to Mermaid Winery because, for the reasons I've already stated, they, it seems that they assume that they have some, some jurisdiction over what you can and cannot do while your car is parked in their charging, in their parking lot. And once again, it's just a parking lot. It just happens to have a, a charging station for electric vehicles. But it's a public parking lot, and they have no dominion over people who park their cars in that parking lot. And that's it for this video. Thank you for listening.